Hello everybody, this is Brandon here, your PLC 1, 2, and 3 instructor. I'm going to pull up Studio 5000 and I'm going to show you how to build a new program from scratch. And I clicked the wrong button already. <clears throat> so when you're here, go ahead and close this. When you're at this point here, we're going to go ahead and do a new project. We have to find our device, which I am currently connected to the 1769 L36 ERM. I believe that is the correct. Yep, I'm just looking and verifying. So I'm going to find the 1769 L36 ERM, which is right here. I'm just going to click on that to highlight it. And then I'm going to name this one uh, Brandon G. Program. Let's call it that for simplicity's sake. I'm going to hit next. Now, this part here, you just want to leave it as revision 31 because that's the version of Studio 5000 software that we have. And we're going to leave no protection on here because we don't need any type of security protection since these are localized. And uh, we don't need to do a description or a logical name. So I can go ahead and just click finish. So now Studio 5000, it is opening. And once this comes open, we're uh, going to be kind of like in a default state in the Studio 5000 software here. So you'll see we're going to have our standard layout. Now on our suitcase trainers we have, we have a uh, digital input-output module and an analog uh, input-output module. But you'll see that that's alone down here. We are uh, not online yet. So we can go online if we want to. But first, we're going to go ahead and right here is our PLC controller. So we're going to click on the 1769 bus here and right click. And we're going to hit new module. So we're going to add our digital module. So what you have to do is you have to find it. So if you open up the case on your digital module, it's the one that has the blue and orange on it, where the wires are coming in, and look at the bottom of the labeling. You'll see it says 1769 IQ 6 xow 4 So we're going to need to find that. So it was uh, 1769 IQ xow 4 right here. So all we got to do is just click on that and hit create. <clears throat> and then if we want to give it a name, I always give it a um, pretty simple name. So I'm just going to call it uh, digital or dig expansion module. That's all I need to name it, right? And it is the first one. So it's the first slot that's attached to my PLC. I don't need to give it a um, slot number since it is the first one there. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK after I name it. And now you'll see over here on the left hand side in slot 0 is our PLC and slot 1 is our first expansion module. So now we need to find our other expansion module which is our analog one. So if you open up that one it's the one with the brown and yellow on it. You open up the face and you look at the bottom and you'll see 1769 IF 4XO F2. So IF4, move this over a little. IF4XOF2. There you go. And you'll see that is analog. So the OF2 is analog. So we hit create. And the little short nickname I just give for this one, since the last one was digital ex expansion module, we call this one ANG. Expansion module. Hit OK. Now you'll see it pop up over here on the left hand side. So now we have successfully configured our PLC with both of its expansion modules in a new program. So if I hit close here, we are currently offline. So what I'm going to do is go to communication, who active. And then I'm going to find which, uh, which gate that we want to use. 
So it's the one that will be connected via USB. Now, we're powered on and everything, but for some reason it's not showing up here. It would normally be this 15, 17, L L36, EM, ERM, and it's not popping up here either. So it's not seeing it yet. So I'm just gonna close this and unplug my USB cable and then plug it back into my PC. Then go back to communication, who active, expand my USB again, and now you'll see it is no longer closed off. So if I click on it, what I need to do is now I'm gonna to need to download what I've done to the PLC. So I just click on to the PLC, and then I'm just gonna hit download. <clears throat> Go ahead and click download. And it is going to basically erase anything that's on that PLC and put everything that I've done onto the PLC. Done downloading, change the controller back to remote run, which means we'll be online and ready to go. I'm just gonna click yes. You'll see we're green all the way around, so we are now online. And now you'll see the main program, the main routine, controller, BG program, what I named it originally. So then if I go to my controller tags, all you're gonna see is your local inputs and outputs, your local controllers, and then your local inputs and outputs uh, for your digital and analog controller. So your local one would be slot one here, inputs would be right here, expand data, and now you can see, I'll turn my selector switch off. So see it functions, I'll push my green push button, you'll see it functions. So. Now my local inputs and outputs are now all set and configured because I added them here to slot one and slot two before I did the download configuration. So now from this point, you would actually have to create all your, go into edit tags and create your timers and counters that you might need in the future or anything like that. But I just wanted to give you guys a brief rundown of how you would have to create a program completely from scratch. All right. I appreciate everybody's time. I'm going to stop the share here, and then I'm going to stop the recording, and you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks.